Hello there, and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do a 3D carving in this beautiful piece of western red cedar. Absolutely beautiful. A bit of planking I had left over from a, another job. So we're going to carve a 3D young lady's head, uh, or, or shall we say bust, in this piece of wood as deep as I can, as in make it stand out as deep as I can in 3D. And um, I'm going to show you a few little tricks along the way. And the first one is how to attach this to the bed of my 6012 CNC router. So this is my 6012 CNC router, which is a hybrid machine. I go into other videos describing how it is a hybrid. My favorite method of attaching material to my waste sheet is I get some pr pretty good uh, painter's tape like this I put some on the bed here I have uh, some stock blocks there um, set at 90 degrees already on here I have tape painter's tape on the back of your material and what you do is you get some super glue or CA glue and put on the tape in a few areas like this just a dab in strategic places and place your material on top press down relatively firmly for 20 seconds or so Just enough for it to go off a bit. Then I get my other piece. This is a useful method if you want to reproduce a few of these type of uh, 3D carvings and uh, not have to set the machine up all, all the time. You know, you set it up once and then all you do is take off two of these pieces Remove new tape, super glue, put back on, press the go button, off you go. Go in and start the screw with a hammer so the material doesn't wander when you start to drill it in. It always keeps up tight against there. And of course the same this side, squeeze it up, put screws in and then we'll set up the zero zero or the work offset. And of course now after a five minutes or so this now is very firm within this boundary or what we could call a boundary box that we've put our material in. So now you can machine this without having any screws or anything actually in your material. So this is one method I've used and I do notice in the comments uh, people asking me, oh how have I got this attached to my wasteboard? Well this is the trick. So I've marked the centre of our material there with an X, so I'm just going to bring up the uh, router head or the spindle. I've got a nice pointy tool in there and uh, we'll set the X, Y, 0. Looks pretty good to me. 
Okay, so I've set it all ready to go now, so it's just a matter of uh, pushing the go button and uh, we'll cut this. <laughs> I just need to undo these two and I'll show you how to get this off. So 
you just get a flat blade like this. And you can take this off your work. very easily. Look at that. Is that a bit overexposed? Look at that. That's pretty deep isn't it? And that's straight off the machine. Not much finishing required to that. Just the the edges here. Incidentally the step over was a z 0 0.15 of a millimeter so uh, look you can see there's a little tiny bit of fur in there on the top of her head that'll come off very easily actually well, I'm really really pleased with that so you can see it's very simple to attach a piece of material to your spoil board and uh, set it or set a simple jig up so you can put this another piece in there in exactly the same spot you don't have to reset the the machine x y zero it's there so i hope you've liked the video today if you have please press like and subscribe to my channel on my channel you will see things like this, the lion, the eagle up there, if you can, oh, it's just off camera I think, and coat of arms up here, all 3D type work, and how to put those programs together in the different CAM CAD programs. Also CNC milling, uh, conversion of a, of a standard mill to a CNC machine, and also uh, a lathe and of course uh, wood turning and laser work everything to do with with lasers uh, my particular 100 watt laser in actual fact that's what the subject of the next video is going to be uh, and that is um, we're going to do some work on bamboo so uh, I hope you enjoy that one as well so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now